Hi Scorpio, this is your reading for the 22nd to the 28th of August and I'm doing the general uh, reading, weekly reading and I'm doing the romance reading for September. I've combined them and I think you're all quite uh, um, agreeable with the way I'm doing it. So thank you so much for your support and your likes and shares. I'm using the Handsome Roberts deck for the finance and the Morgan and Greer deck for the general. I love the vibrant colours and I'll also be using the Surrender deck and the Mystical Wisdom deck and the Romance Oracle deck. So stay tuned for your romance reading at the end of the video. Thank you very much for supply, uh, su supporting and subscribing and sharing. It really does me, um, uh, makes me really feel good. It makes me, I, I'm so grateful. Thank you. And thank you for refreshing your memberships and coming in thick and fast after the holidays. It's been really, really quiet without you. Uh, for those that have not been on YouTube for a while and have been on holiday, I hope you are well and um, had a lovely holiday. So we're all getting ready for the new school year for those that have children or children at uni. So good luck to you and your children. Well, your reading seems to be a really a lovely reading. There's good things coming in and the energy is Virgo. As we've just had the new moon and we are, um, sorry, we've just had the full moon and we're going into the new moon on the 27th. So the energy is, I feel, the good energy is coming in. Definitely big change for permanency and of long term. Whether it's in romance, finance or um, generally. I did the finance reading after the general reading last week. If you haven't caught up with last week's reading yet. Or rather this week. I'm making these readings for next week. You come in with the Five of Cups. Perhaps you're looking at what you don't have and feeling sorry for yourself. This could also be, of course, a friendship or something of a loss. This could be a job, a romance, a friendship, a partnership. Don't look back, learn from it and stand up, dust yourself off and change the present and the future. You can't do anything what has been. It will never return again unless um, things are um, worked out. Let's see if it works out for you. If that is what you want, you could work it out because you do have the victory card underneath. But it takes a lot of communication and it takes a lot of understanding. Communication because you've got the Gemini, the lovers here, and also thought. Also patience. Take it slow but easy because we are in Virgo. Also listen to your heart. This is your heart card. This is your empathy card because it represents cancer. Also it represents the men mental strength. Gemini has mental strength. They are thinkers. They're the walkers and the talkers. They can sell ice cubes to Eskimos. So if you want to have this friendship or partnership back, depending on what has happened. If it was the Ten of Swords, I can't remember if you had the Ten of Swords last week, but if that moment has come in that somebody stabbed you in the back, think twice before you throw the dice. In other words, taking the gamble. And actually, that's a good title if I can fit it in. Uh, I'm just going to stop it. And I'm just going to write it down. Well, it's not me. I'm not so clever and sharp and coming to the point with sayings and poems like that. But definitely I thought that would be a good, good um, title. So be um, think twice before you throw the dice. If you do that, think, communicate, then you can steer the way to telepathically as well. You can steer it to your path. OK. These are opposites. These, this could be you being in opposites with somebody else. Well, you've got a strong mind. So think clearly. Take your time to think about it. Don't be hasty. Like the air signs. 
Out of haste, repent in leisure. Do things in haste, repent in leisure. Here, this, this cancer as the chariot is number seven. Luck is on your side. Also, it represents cancer. Perhaps you might have had time to think in cancer. Perhaps it might have happened in June because this is cancer. This is Gemini. So it could have happened end of May, June, and you're wanting to get back together again. Definitely um, seek a, a, per, a professional advice or guidance from a social worker, mediator or an arbitrator, whether it is concerning getting together again with an ex a partner whether it's in romance or in business also you're moving onwards and upwards so you're much stronger now you've moved forward um, you are thinking about what was but remember you're stronger and you have done it for if it has happened uh, in Gemini time at the end of May till now you've been on your own you're much stronger you've healed you've come together and you're ready for that new beginning because you look or feel to me depressed you've been moping around you want adventure you want excitement um, and you want a change well change is coming in and victory is coming in so long you take the reins in this deck it has the reins the chariot but usually um, you know uh, uh, the chariot is um, steered by telepathy and the mind you can also see that he's holding on to the railing here and he's not steering he's not doing this in some decks you see um, they are uh, reins and the steering and in our most decks they're not because it's the uh, card of telepathy and the mind also go with the flow because that's what cancer does be passionate about it and nurture your projects also that is the overall energy the um, new energy for this week is action planning strate uh, being strategic uh, passion uh, passionate about a person passionate about a thing a project perhaps take that plan into action but do it with thought being strategic also means getting advice from somebody that you trust or professionally if you do that there will be an offer given you to you by the divine or the cosmos and you've got the judgment card this card means that you're the phoenix rising from the ashes also that you've got a new beginning this new beginning is going to be powerful big and fast taking action being creative because that's what the ones represent also the judgment card means there could be a reconciliation if that is what you wish to for reform that partnership you feel that you are soulmates but sometimes you know we outgrow each other and we have to have time out to think meditate contemplate and evaluate is this really what i want because we do have the card of wanting to leave excitement adventure new horizons and you rather want to do it by the looks of it with your partner uh, in crime whether it's in romance or whether it's in business because you do feel safe with them and that you can trust them luckily we don't have the ten of swords here or the nine of swords but mostly or the devil things like that that there's been deceivement there's none of that you just haven't been willing to see you've been isolating perhaps you have been focusing on your own ideas because underneath the uh, this is the wish card so that is underneath the wish card you've been focusing on yourself perhaps or you've been focusing on your own wants and needs and that's what broke the partnership your partnership is always being together being aware uh, of each other taking each other's wishes into account and also knowing each other's boundaries and sometimes we forget we go in la la land the dreamland the wish card this is number seven you've got two seven so you've got double luck okay and remember double means united that is a two so together you stand strong and that is exactly what you're wanting to stand strong 
financially, romantically and emotionally. Boom. Also, you've got the star card. Like I said, you're in the spotlight. You are being seen. You've got the recognition that will bring you victory. Two recognition cards. And definitely you are stronger and you are reaching for the sky and you're going to fly like the phoenix from the ashes. Wishes are going to come true, but the star, the sun and the moon are spotlights. Where there is a spotlight, there is also illumination. So this means that you need to do research with regards to a situation or a question at hand. That means communication like the air sign Gemini. You need to communicate, you need to get that balance um, and then you can advance to your projects together. If it isn't together, you will do it on your own. The Eight of Swords means that you're not willing to see. Like I said, you might be isolating yourself, making your own prison, stuck in your mind, not taking, daring to take action. Well, this week you can take action because you've got definitely strong, powerful and positive cards. So long you are willing to take that blindfold off and stop being stuck in your head and hanging around or sitting around on your laurels. There's enough space to take off the blindfolds and the ribbon or the rope that's not tied up. It's lying on the ground. You, <coughs> you make your own prison. So take everything off, see where you're going and stop being opposite. Okay, get to in, get in alignment. Okay, walk through the opening and that is there for you. Look around you, not just in front of you and take one project at a time and not tend to a dozen. There's too much going on. Slow down. Your partner cannot keep up Scorpio. And this is where it can be dangerous because your sting, if you get angry, you will sting and that's sit final. Okay. They're trying to take you into consideration. Give them some consideration. If you can't communicate together, go to neutral ground and ask somebody that um, will help you to be a communicator, a mediator, arbitrator. All right. It will bring you to quieter waters, safer waters. You can leave the rough waters behind, but don't drag any old cows out of the canal. In other words, that's a saying in Holland, uh, leave the cows in the stable, bolt the doors, forget what has happened, use it to your advantage. So don't, um, don't drag any old things back into the present. Stop comparing to the past. Learn from the past. Let the negativity go and start again slowly but steadily. Okay. Like the water signs. This is Aquarius. Okay. So you've got a lot of water in you. In, no. So air, Aquarius is air. Gemini. So you've got water. But I see a lot of water here. So emotions could be running high but try to balance it out look at this water that's quiet it's quiet this water is rough this water is quiet so quietness gentleness is coming back in especially in virgo it is steadiness it's firm it is tangible it is durable and for long term so keep that in mind set your goals dreams or pray, um, uh, wishes on a list Take the first goal that could come to fruition. This will motivate you and both of you to carry on to new pastures. Slow but steady. Eight is the house of money and the house of power. You are in your power so long you get out of your head. Two eights. Wow. House of money and power. So money is coming in. You're more than halfway here. You're going up from a six to a seven, two sevens, double luck, to eight. Wow. Magic. Magic is definitely in the air for you. Now, I've got the surrender deck. You could be going on holiday as well. You could be going, uh, let me see. If you're going to get re, uh, reacquainted with each other, realigned, soulmate you could be going on holiday you with your partner you could meet somebody on holiday um, definitely you could be going on a cruise or you could even be moving home 
moving home going on to the next level in career or romance wow beautiful so stop facing away from each other be aligned face each other communicate like the lovers do beautiful beautiful reading okay okay now from the surrender card we have surrendered to the idea you can fix someone accept somebody for what they are and how they are remember a dog sheds his fur but not his tricks they can learn new tricks and they can adapt and be flexible but you need to be flexible and, 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 and adaptable as well and this will bring a new you two together it is time for a relationship to shift it doesn't work to try to fix someone each person must be accountable for their his or her own healing and um, that takes time i think you've taken time out some of you and could be coming back together again as you realize you belong with each other also both of you should respect each other and let go of control issues you can't control don't keep on phoning or apping every five seconds where are you what are you doing where are you uh, you should have been home blah 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 try to bring structure into the uh, relationship also for the children's benefit if there are children there could be pregnancy the next level or expansion in the home refurbishing the home as well definitely moving home so something new is coming in if you adapt and you are flexible make your agreements agree on what you're going to do that day or make a plan of action like the dreams so your dreams are in in balance with their dreams okay so that just dream you need to dream together as well so see what you can do if, if it's not feasible to move home um, then wait and refurbish the home and then see if you can get a better price okay codependency there you go let go of control issues codependency could also be like the devil's card the devil's card means somebody could have um, habits or could be addictions could be depending on you using you as a skivvy or this could be you as well if it isn't you it could be the other half or a boss or employer uh, or a mother or a father because we do have a couple here mothers fathers okay um also definitely um uh, addictions are affecting your romantic life this doesn't have to be your partner this can also be um uh, parents or family um because we've got the family unit here okay now for the mystical wisdom we've got cheer up live in the moments and make it the moment and try to build um, on this moment so cheer up good news is coming in you are the phoenix rising from the ashes don't dwell on the past and that is the eight of uh, cups okay and the five of cups so don't dwell on the past like i said don't drag any old cows out of the canal why obsess about the future if things beyond your control um, if things beyond your control can happen at any time become childlike again let your inner self come out be playful look how playful the um, uh, lovers is okay as yesterday never mattered and tomorrow is another day do something spontaneous stop and smell the roses bake a cake or sit and watch the people walking by just live in the moment and enjoy what you are doing allow the universe and your angels to assist you effortlessly at this time listen to the angels sing and that is gabriel okay 
Archangel Gabriel blowing life. Okay, listen to his song or his tune of the trumpet. There is a call. Be still and just go with the flow. Like I've said, go with the flow. That's like, it reminds me a bit of the temperance card. Also, the girl is using cans or cups of water trying to keep the balance. If you are feeling exhausted or disheartened, just rest and do nothing. Nurture yourself to re-energize for tomorrow. Do what you need to do to cheer up. So let your inner child come out. Okay, don't be stuck in your head. You have to find the fun. Now we're going to read Scorpio. I have to redo the um, romance reading. I said it was finance. I got it twisted. But the finance looks good as well. And the romance looks good. Because this is the Hierophant. You could be getting married. Some of you could be uh, reconciliating and getting married or partnering up in one way or another as you've got the Hierophant or you could be seeking advice on a marriage. This could be an arbitrator, a mediator, um, but also somebody that repre as he represents municip municipalities and institutions. This could be an advocate, a lawyer, a social worker, a mediator, but it can also be the Justice of the Peace or the High Priest as he's also known. Representing Taurus, you could be getting official news if you're going through a divorce, then this could be news coming from your advocate or the courts. This is also um, coming through e cyber email, text message or telephone call. Official news or definitely news about perhaps because the night is looking at the moon and there could be clarity being given to you about a situation uh, perhaps you might have uh, wanted to get married and it was delayed because and they're um, working back through backlogs and now a space has come open and you didn't know about it and boom you've got the two pillars this new beginning the portal that is given by the divine also in the ace of wands representing Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. Also, sorry about the sirens, um, if you're keeping secrets they could be revealed. Perhaps that you love somebody or that you want to marry somebody because the hyphen is lying next to it. Uh, definitely. So good news. Representing Aries, um, sorry, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. Aqua lying on top of the Aquarius as well. We've got Gemini here. So now Libra is in the reading as well. Definitely Cancer or Pisces. Use your intuition and let the uh, subconscious ideas come into the conscious. This is the keys of the subconscious and the conscious. So perhaps this new moon could be of influence to you since this reading is from the 22nd to the 28th. You could be uh, feeling sensitive, emotionally sensitive or more intuitive and empathic, nurturing, caring, sensual. Um, uh, two days before, like the 26th and the 25th or the 29th and the 30th. Also, somebody could be coming back this could be the news that you didn't know but you were hoping for because of the reconciliation card. Um, somebody could be coming back. He could be giving or she could be giving you a present. This could be um, a little present or this could also be the excuses. Sorry about the way things went. Victory, ultimate victory is yours. A new beginning, new communications. Communications could be through cyber. You could be sending each other text messages or emails. Let's get together. Let's communicate. Let's talk it out. So good news is definitely on its way. You could also be starting to gain new knowledge, doing the research through an advisor, perhaps how to get back together again. I hope again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, 
So the air signs are dominant in your reading. I hope you've enjoyed this reading and remember, dance, enjoy life, let your um, inner child come out, be playful, okay, all with all these, this, I love this reading, cheer up, live in the moment, okay, and perhaps somebody that was codependent is seeking professional advice so that they do or can come back. Take care, stay safe, and I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Please do like and share and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the life. Have great fun. Take care. Bye-bye.